What's up you guys, it's Pierre. I have a review today of the Asics Gel Renma court shoes, pickleball shoes from Asics. This is what they're pitched as from Asics. I've done a review of these already for the squash crowd, I, uh, which you can check out from a few months ago. I bought them to, because they were marketed as pickleball shoes, but I could see from the photos that they looked like they would do pretty well on the squash court, which they were, they had good grip, they were a good, um, kind of uh, good value for money shoe on the squash court. But I put them aside and because I went back to using my regular shoes, which happen to be the A6 Gel Fastball 3 currently, uh, which are a little bit lighter and I'm just used to them. So these sat in my uh, basement for a bit and this year I got really into pickleball if you have seen the last couple of videos of mine. And I decided, well, if these are pickleball shoes, I might as well try them out on the pickleball courts. Uh, rather than saving them for some future date on the squash court. And that's exactly what I did. So I have been playing with these all season long on the pickleball court since February. These shoes, they still are going strong. I would say I'm going to retire them just because they're starting to lose their tread. These things are absolute beasts, rock stars of stability and durability. I mean, I've worn them all the way down through the um, uh, through the gum rubber, the tread is almost completely gone where I drag my foot on the pickleball court. Interestingly, different drag pattern than on my squash shoes. This is completely worn down. The toe, uh, my left toe is, is breaking through. Both toes are actually uh, breaking through. Ooh, well, now it's totally broken through. Uh, so I, this is why I was getting rid of them. I was like, I didn't want to have this break on me in the middle of uh, a match or something. But these have held up incredibly well. They were very good shoes on court. The grip was great. My ankle stability was great. They're light enough. They're durable enough. The price point was was good enough. I can't remember what they were. Let me see. 80 to 90 bucks at the moment. And yeah, so these are just a really good all-around shoe. I've seen a lot of players at my courts, my pickleball courts, wearing these. And the reality is, so I, I learned this from, from one of the stores, from, from, uh, from one of the stores that I um, deal with. I won't, I won't name them by name at this point, but the, 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 one of the owners there told me, he's like, I said, why, you know, why does A6 say this is a pickleball shoe instead of a squash shoe? Or, you know, what's the deal with that? And what he told me was that ASICs will take a shoe and they will, for liability reasons, they will test it thoroughly for one sport so that they can confidently say, okay, this shoe has been tested out for this particular sport. They don't want to have, let's say, an injury or a whole bunch of injuries from players and get like lawsuits. They want to be able to show that they've tested these things out for a particular sport. And this shoe, the Ren Mod, this is their pickleball shoe. Now, you could probably take any ASIC shoe and put it on the pickleball court and it will work fine. But Renma is their dedicated pickleball shoe and it has worked great. And there are tons of players at my local courts wearing these. They seem happy with them. Uh, so ASICS has done a good job with this and I expect we're gonna see this shoe a lot. So that again is the ASICS Gel Renma. Check them out and I'll see you in the next video, bye.